Guess what? Blizzard are back with another amazing offer for you in the Overwatch shop. <laughs> <gasps> Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So let's break this down. Like it, it just it just gets better and better and better and better the monetization of this game. So we're gonna take a look at this Reddit post, but essentially let me break this down before we get into it. If you're playing Overwatch, you've probably seen this bundle. If you haven't, let me give you the TLDR. This is the ultimate battle pass bundle for season seven. Now, what that means is you get a bunch of extra sort of awesome value stuff added to this to make you think that it's actually worth the price. Now, you can see the price of this. It's 53.99 Canadian dollars. Now, US dollars, this is $40. So, you know, we're, we're basically, we're approaching the price of an actual video game, right, at this point. But what do you get for this, right? And where is the this current wave of outrage coming from? And it's justifiable. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's absolutely justifiable, you know, because the player base for Overwatch have been rinsed and rinsed and rinsed with these shocking, like, um ah okay so look look in this pass the ultimate pass that is you get 20 battle pass tier skips right you also get the premium battle pass for series seven uh, for year for season seven you get 2000 overwatch coins right that is the premium currency you get inarius Farah, which is what we can see here but then you also get the lilith moira skin now the lilith moira skin is arguably the best skin in this entire season by an absolute mile and that's where a lot of the frustration is going to come from here let me just pull up a picture of this to show you so this is the skin i mean you get the idea this is based on lilith from diablo 4 it's moira it's incredible i mean it is it's it's just an insane skin it's an awesome crossover skin but this is where things start to get well this is where all the the anger is coming from and like i said it's completely justifiable so uh, also, just to go through the rest of what you get here, you get Pumpkin Bastion, which is just the epic skin. Um, you get the Be Careful, uh, Be Beautiful, sorry, uh, highlight intro, which is the Lilith-inspired highlight intro. Again, that's really cool and really well made. Um, and then you get a couple of sprays, right? So where's the problem? Well, the problem is that you can only get this skin if you buy the Ultimate Battle Pass. It doesn't even matter if you have premium currency in your account that doesn't matter because you cannot buy this skin on its own. It is inside the Ultimate Battle Pass. So you have to buy the Ultimate Battle Pass. See where I'm going with this? This is a particularly filthy tactic because what it does is it means even if you've got coins, let's say you were a player that grinded for coins and you were completing your um, weeklies and dailies and whatever they are, right? I think you might have enough now if you did it from last year to buy a legendary skin because they're very generous, Blizzard. Anyway, you might want to buy this skin. Think, oh, yeah, this looks really cool. I'm going to buy it. Only problem is um, you won't be buying this skin because it's inside the premium ultra super duper battle pass, which costs you $40. So you see the issue here, right? Blizzard have a way of extracting dollars from the player base instead of letting them use their premium currency to buy this. Now, this is something Blizzard have been doing for a while because... Um, they originally didn't even let you buy the individual components of a bundle, a bundle in the shop, that is. This is different because this is a Battle Pass bundle, so it's a different thing entirely, although it's still a bundle in the shop, right? It's it's so shocking. So essentially, their, their offer here is, do you want the Lilith Moira skin? Probably a lot of people do. I think she's a pretty popular hero. And even if she's not your main hero, she's not my main hero, but I look at that skin, I'm like, oh my God, I need that skin. It looks awesome. But then I'm like, hang on a minute, I have to pay I have to pay $40 for this? Hang on. I'm like, can't I just, why? I mean, even at like $19, let's be honest, that's still pretty expensive. But it's not even that, right? It, it's just, it is $40 and that is that. Take it or leave it. Now, this, of course, has caused a lot of problems and rightfully so. I'd expect Blizzard will probably go, oh, um, after we've left this for a week or two, we'll go, guys, we're being so great and awesome. We'll we'll let you buy this individually now. Ooh. We'll let you buy it for legacy credits or something. I don't know. Pro they, pro they won't say that. It'll be premium or go away. Um, but they want you to buy the premium battle pass. So the comment here from this Reddit user just says, I saw the new Moira and Farrah skin in the trailer. I was excited for the first time in a long time. Some of the best looking um, and only skins for them in a long time. And of course, it's locked behind a shitty pay web, uh, payware bundle. Um, not even available for premium battle pass, but the goddamn ultimate that you want, uh, that they want money for. I should have seen this coming. Way to be greedy and ruin the excitement. Yeah, I mean, again, that is also it is a valid point. This was the lead marketing image for all of season seven. So it, it's probably right in front of our faces. They're going to charge you big cash money for this, right? And they are. Uh, anyway, look at the top comment. 
this is where things like I think get really interesting because we are very firmly in a world now where I, I mean, I say to you, right, why the hell would you buy that skin, even if it was the greatest skin ever in, in the game for the hero that you play, that has no impact on anything other than your visual appearance to other players? Yeah, you get a new first-person model, um, but the rest of the skin you don't really get to enjoy. Maybe you get some unique voice lines. Maybe you get unique visual effects. That's all you're getting for your money. You can actually just go out and buy a full game and sit there and play that game for hours and hours and hours and hours and get loads of entertainment. The top comment here just says my jaw literally dropped when I seen the price. And it is, it, it is. I mean, you could go out and buy, well, you couldn't buy Baldur's Gate 3 because that's still full price, I think, at the moment. But probably that'll drop down in price fairly soon. You'll be able to buy that. You'll get hundreds of hours of gameplay out of that. But there's loads of games out there, literally loads of games out there you could buy and get tons and tons of, uh, entertainment out of it and that is the problem i've got with all of this stuff in the store because blizzard are like you need to make us want to part with our money right we we love the game we play the game and we know you've got a monetization problem because you're finding it difficult to extract i guess money from the wider player base so what you're doing is having these hellishly overpriced sort of bundles that are tempting people or even forcing them i mean i've been on record before saying this game is monetized through frustration and i still believe it is it's it's not monetized very well it's not monetized in the sense of making the player feel great when they spend money on an in-game purchase it's just like you do you want this okay well it's in a bundle you need to pay more oh you thought that'd be 19 dollars. Nah, it's in a 40 dollar bundle do you want it or not and you're like oh oh by the way it's going to be leaving the store soon so you, oh and you're like oh and then you buy that's monetization through frustration and it is terrible and it's just it's I, there's just no way around it it's terrible i don't like it anyway we can we'll go through some of these comments here and then we're going to jump over to i think we're going to jump over to ign and take a look at their breakdown because i think they've got some more reaction as well from people on uh, x as i believe it's called now anyway look at this it's in canadian dollars but it's still 40 us dollars right it's the same price as previous seasons actually this is a point um i do want to bring up because this is really interesting now, I don't want to sound like a simp, but it is a bundle. You get 2,000 coins, two legendary skins with one epic skin with a highlight intro with the battle pass and 20 level skips. If you want to just buy one skin, it's not worth it. But if you wanted to buy both the battle pass and the $20 coins, you may consider it. It's content uh, with Banshee Moira. So uh, I'm going, anyway, I'm content. Sorry, it's not content. That person is content with their <laughs> Banshee Moira. This is classic, right? Because this is what Blizzard are trying to do. It's this like inflating the value proposition. I keep using that phrase because I think it's the best one we've got where they're going like, look at this. Do you want this and this? Well, you also get this, 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 and this, and this, and this, and we're going to inflate the price. I mean, if I take you back up to the top of this thread, if you, you let's be realistic, right? There are two things that you're going to want in this pack. It is either the Inarius Farah, this skin, or it's this, right? That's it. So you just want one of those, right? Okay, maybe maybe you're a player that's like, okay, I main Farrah and Moira, so okay, I'm, I'm seeing value here. All this other stuff, though, is just slapped in to make it feel like it's worth more. You know, you get what I'm saying? It And it's, it's horrible. It's horrible. And it works. And it really, really works because you see comments like this and you see this all over the internet and it's like, oh, yeah, but no, it's great value. You know, if you're going to buy it anyway, oh, it's great value. It's like, no, 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 no. You have to understand what they're trying to do here. And it's, it's sinister, which makes sense because it is uh, a rather sinister month that we're in, I guess. <laughs> so we get this argument, and, and this is something you see all the time as well, and it's the argument of like, oh, well, it doesn't matter. Look, it's just aimed at whales, right? They just, they, they just want people who spend loads of money to buy it. And that's, is that okay? I don't know. You know, for me, I've always viewed, I've, I mean, I know this is completely outdated in, in terms of an, a, a view on Blizzard because times have changed and they've changed over the last couple of years. But like I always viewed them as a company that tried to produce games that were first and foremost for the people um, enjoying the games. You get ma like the maximum amount of them, right? So if they were going to sell you something, you knew you were going to get a ton of content, a load of stuff. You know, whether that was an expansion pack for Warcraft or even like Warcraft 3. I mean, I remember the expansions came out for that. They were mind blowing, you know, but like we've gone away from that to them just going like... <laughs> It's king monetization. I mean, I know they're part of the same company, but that's what it is. It's like, let's just get the people who want to spend the most money because they're idiots or they just don't care about money or they just, that's what gives them pleasure is just buying really expensive stuff. But let's just target them and then the rest of everybody else can sort of coast along and have a good time. But like, again, my issue with this is I just feel like 
you know, I could go off on a tangent here again. Um, we've got the World Cup bundles available now, which are the funding bundles for um, uh, the World Cup. The problem with those bundles is um, I think they are... I think it's too expensive. Like, I, I, why are you not selling like a $10 bundle, Blizzard, of like, I don't know, a load of World Cup skins because they're just recolors and, and the flags and the icons and, and that stuff. Why are they not doing that? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, okay, so I'm editing this video at the moment and <laughs> what I've said is totally wrong. So we've got to correct this. Look at this. There actually is a $10 bundle. You can buy this. It's $10 and it is an Overwatch World Cup crowdfunding bundle. But... I'll get myself out of jail here and say like, okay, you get a Lucio skin and then you get the World Cup weapon charm. But I mean, why don't they just give you the skins for all of the countries or maybe even let you select a grab bag, you know, because if uh, let's say I only want, um, you know, the UK skins, then just give me them and let me have the player icon and the banner, you know, but it's like, no, it's not. And I don't know whether this is attractive enough to make people buy it. I don't know. Maybe it is. Anyway, back to the video. Like instead, it's this, again, big, bundle of like you, you get a sojin epic skin in it it's 30 plus dollars you're gonna buy this like you know ooh, we're gonna give some of it to the world cup which i think is great i do i do agree with crowdfunding um and the world cup but like it just doesn't feel like it's very accessible to the wider player base and i i worry how long can that actually keep going on okay you want some spice i'll give you some spice so you see this comment here I can't believe they're really keeping this price point. I thought it was only going to be like that last season because of PvE. Wrong! 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 Yes, that's right. Um, because once we increase the price of this offering, we're always going to keep it at that price. It's never going back down to the cheaper price. It's literally $10 more expensive now because we're going to keep it at that price. You love it. Okay, let's go and take a look at IGN. The reason why I want to take a look at this because it's it's very like indicative of... Just wider gaming interest. Because, yeah, we can look at it from the diehard Overwatch fan. We can look at Reddit. We can look at our own experiences and whatever. We've all played enough Overwatch. Especially if you're watching this video, you've definitely probably played enough Overwatch. Um, but this, I think, gives like more of a wider perspective uh, from other people that maybe Overwatch isn't their main game. You know, they've got a bit of interest in it. How are they reacting? Well, it's, it's as, you know, you can expect. So they say this. Blizzard locks Overwatch 2's hotly anticipated Diablo 4 skins behind a $40 bundle, sparking a backlash little sub comment cold indeed so overwatch 2 developer blizzard has come under fire for locking eye-catching diablo 4 skins behind a 40 dollar bundle launched yesterday the lilith skin for moira and the inaria skin for farah are both part of the 39.99 ultimate battle pass bundle for season 7 lilith and inarius are the main characters from blizzard's action role-playing game diablo 4 lilith the demonic mother of sanctuary and antagonist of the game inarius a fallen angel who ostensibly defends humanity both of these Diablo 4 skins, uh, which Blizzard leaned on to promote the recently launched Season 7, Rise of Darkness, are exclusively sold through the $39.99 Ultimate Battle Pass bundle for Season 7. There is no other way to get the skins other than forking out real-world money. It is worth noting the bundle includes nine items. Here are the contents of the Ultimate Battle Pass, all right? So we, we know what the contents are. We've been through that. Shocked Overwatch 2 players reacted in anger to the way Blizzard is making these Lilith and Anarius skins available. In a thread on the Overwatch subreddit that's seen nearly 14,000 upvotes, accused, um, Yayo Protocol accused Blizzard of being greedy, saw the new Moira and Farah skin in the trailer, and was excited for the first time in a long time. Um, some of the best looking skin... Oh, okay, we've, we've read the Reddit post. Okay, great, great, great. Um, and now, as IGN goes on to say, Yayo is but one of many disgruntled Overwatch 2 players who dislike the bundle. I have premium currency saved up for this and the Battle Pass. Um, I'm floored. The only way to get it is to pay $40. Wow, that's actually awful. What a joke. Lol, that skin Lilith was actually going to get me to purchase my first skin from the Overwatch 2 store. Not anymore. For real, I saw the skin and was hyped. Like, you couldn't have just blah, 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 blah. You know, it just goes on and on and on and on. The only way to get Lilith and Anarius skins in Overwatch 2 is through buying the effing stupid $40 season pass bundle. Fuck you, Blizzard! <laughs> they really made the Moira skin available only a $40 bundle. Overwatch is a joke. You know, look at all these. We could just keep going through them. We could just keep going through them. You all get the idea. Dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dearie me. This is the way it is in this game. Anyway, this is where it gets spicy because this actually talks about what I just spoke about being the uh, increasing the price of the Ultimate Battle Pass bundle permanently. So, some players have also accused Blizzard of hiking the price of the Ultimate Battle Pass bundle relative to previous seasons. 
they kept the $40 price tag for the Season 7 Ultimate Battle Pass bundle without having additional value of the Invasion bundle. The Ultimate Battle Pass bundle for Season 7 is $40. It was priced at $30 for the first five seasons, but then it was raised to 40 for Season 6 because we all thought, we're getting PvE. You're getting three missions. It's worth $10. Everyone said it wasn't, but it's worth it. If we go, yeah, excellent. <laughs> They now kept the same pricing without the additional value of the PvE missions. Well, well, who would have thunk it? The backlash to the Diablo 4 skins comes amid long-running negativity about Overwatch 2, which is currently the worst user-reviewed game ever on Steam. Fans have hit out of Blizzard in a number of issues, including replacing the premium Overwatch with free-to-play Overwatch 2, and, la, 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 and everyone's angry, right? Okay, we, we get it, we get it, we get it, right? So... What is the situation here? What is going on? Where do we go from here? I mean, I'll be honest, guys. Like, I think as time has gone on, I look on my channel and I see, like, even way back to the Witch Kiriko bundle, I think I was, like, $40 for this. It's the same. I'll probably do the same thumbnail for this. It's like, what? $40 for this? It's, but, but it's more sinister because that was just a bundle in the store. It wasn't the thing. It wasn't, it wasn't locked away where you had to spend money to get it. You could not spend coins because you have to think as time goes on, players accrue coins and they get them through completing weekly challenges and all of that stuff. They may even get them through obviously buying other battle passes and stuff, but they've got these coins saved up. If you start spending those coins, it's not as lucrative as you just injecting dollars into the game to buy stuff. And that's what Blizzard want you to do. I hate this, honestly. I just like, I'm getting to the point where I'm just so like burnt out discussing the monetization of the game and, and all of that. Like, I, I've said this before, but if I compartmentalize the game in my head and just go, okay, this is the monetization and this is the game, then I love the game and play the game. But then I also want to support the game. And then when I look at what's available to buy, I'm like, I don't want any of this. So, so what, what what am I supposed to do, Blizzard? It's really frustrating. It is really, really frustrating. Um, I want you guys to let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I know it's a highly complex issue and there's going to be people for both sides of the argument here. And, and I get that. I totally get that. But like... Um, Mm. Blizzard basically monetized the game still through frustration, but everything is getting slightly more expensive. They're trying to pump, like basically pump you to get um, real money out of you instead of the premium currency. They're also probably never going to change. Like, this is probably just going to get worse and worse and worse as they're just trying to find out what works. How can they sell more stuff? You know, is the, I, I mean, like here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? My glasses are coming off. It's serious time. Here's the thing. We can sit here and moan about this all we like, right? I can sit here and go, just go and buy another game, right? Don't waste money on that. If you want the Battle Pass, just buy the normal Battle Pass, off you go. But if you want the, the Moira skin, you're going to have to buy it, right? Or probably wait, and they'll give you some way of buying it on its own. Um, or maybe you wait till next year, and it'll probably just be like one of the normal skins you can get for Legendary, um, uh, for the, the Legacy credits. But like, the, the problem, the, the thing is, it doesn't really matter what we say, right? Anyone watching this video is literally a hardcore gamer. It doesn't matter if you're like bronze trash tier player, you're consuming shoulder content attached to your hobby, right? You are not, repeat this after me, you are not the actual player base, yeah? So we, it does, what we say doesn't matter, yeah? Because there is millions of people out there that don't interact with any online media or any of that crap to do with the games they play. They literally turn them on and go, oh, look at this, gee whiz, there's a new thing. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to, oh, look at this skin. I'm going to get it. I'm going to, and they spend money. Those are the people that are powering this game. And the problem I've got is I'm a person who comes from Overwatch and also a person that's just not fucking stupid. So I want a game to be engaging and grossing. I want it to make me spend money on it. I want to see new innovative ways of it pushing forward. Even monetization, I don't even care. Just be innovative, but it's not. It's let's take all of the worst practices. Let's shove them in the game. Let's keep rinsing and rinsing and rinsing. And we're going to keep having these moments where there'll be flashpoints of players losing it because they are like, what is going on with this game? Why is it so expensive? But at the end of the day, because it makes them more money and people are willing to do it. So what can we do? I think we're, I think we're literally defeated at this point. <laughs> we're defeated. The defeat screen, it's popped up and it's for us. Anyway, that's the end of the rant. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment below. Go and play Sombra anyway. She's broken at the moment. I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> See you soon.